Hi, this is Jennifer with Spirit of Health, and today we're going to show you how to make some fermented salsa. If you're like us and you have tons of tomatoes coming out of your garden, uh, this is a great recipe to use up those wonderful tomatoes that are coming out of your garden. So I'm going to just talk you through the ingredients that I have here, and of course you can always half this amount if you don't want to do that large of a recipe. This is about six pounds of tomatoes. We have a cup of cilantro, two onions. This is probably two bell peppers, um, sweet bell peppers, but you could also substitute jalapeno or habanero or some serrano, other type of pepper if you like yours a little hot. I have a cup of whey, the juice of two limes, the juice of two lemons, four tablespoons of sea salt, and here I have some Mexican seasoning that has some chili peppers, uh, cumin, oregano, and it's just kind of a Mexican blend and we're going to use about two teaspoons but you can always adjust that to your liking. That's actually not really even necessary to make this salsa delicious. Here I have about eight um, to ten cloves of garlic and that also can be adjusted to your liking. What I have found is uh, helpful is to start by just blending the onions and the peppers as well as the cilantro first and get that into a, a a consistency that I like using my S blade and my food processor. Then I'm going to add that to the bowl and then I'll go ahead and chop my tomatoes to get that into a consistency that I, that I like. You can of course do this by hand. You don't need to have a food processor but it does make the job pretty quick and easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. Got our onions, peppers, Cilantro. You could add your garlic in here at this time, but I personally really like my garlic fine. So I'm actually at the end going to use a, a garlic press and press my garlic in. That's just a personal preference. I might go down just a little bit and then I'm gonna do my tomatoes. Ooh, those onions are strong. Alright, so I'm gonna put my onion, bell pepper, cilantro mixture into my bowl. Okay, so right now I'm just combining the remainder of the tomatoes with the um, peppers and onions and cilantro. I'm just going to mix it throughout and make sure I get it all combined together. Okay, time to add in the garlic. Like I said before, I, I like to do this by hand because I like my garlic pretty small. Uh, and so I like to press it in. That way you don't have to pulverize it. There's 
salsa so small in the food processor to get your garlic to be pretty fine. Lover, don't feel like you need to put in this much. Uh, Vaughn and I really like garlic and we think that it really enhances the flavor of the salsa so we tend to maybe even overdo it with the garlic. <laughs> Oops. Come on, little guy. There we go. those garlic pieces in. Make sure I get it kind of throughout the salsa here. Okay, so now we can add the rest of our liquids. This is the whey. Now if you didn't use whey, um, you could use a starter packet that you would use to make cultured vegetables. This is whey that's been dripped off of kefir. You could also use whey that's been dripped off of yogurt. So either one. This is a cup of whey. Our lemon and lime juice. This is going to give us a lot of liquid. Or really, don't. Have, we're not going to need any form of additional liquid. Sea salt. Let's combine all that. And last ingredient is our uh, Mexican seasoning. I've got a, this is a half teaspoon so I'm going to do four of these to get me two full teaspoons. So the last step here, is I'm just going to combine my seasonings in that I just put in and get that kind of going throughout. And then all we have next is to add it into our mason jars and put a lid on it. Now this, because it's so finely chopped, really only needs to sit out for about two to three days. Whenever I do a fermented uh, vegetable uh, mixture that's finely chopped, like a relish, then you really, the two to three days is about all it needs. After that, it kind of starts potentially kind of developing a little bit of mold on the top. So what I tend to do is, um, if it's larger vegetables, larger chunks of like sauerkraut or like the green beans, then that's a five to seven days. If it's something really fine like this or, and kind of running your water like a relish, then uh, two to three days is usually really good. So we're going to add it into our jars here. And now this is a lot of salsa here. Um, I'm only going to pack about two jars, but my guess is I could easily pack four to maybe even five jars of uh, mason jars with this mixture. So I'm just going to show you a little bit on how to do that. Then what you're going to do is just take something and make sure everything's underneath the liquid. If yours for some reason wasn't, uh, didn't have as much liquid as ours, because of your tomatoes, maybe they weren't as juicy, um, then you really want to top up with a little bit of water, but I don't even think I need to with mine. It's just got so much water in there. Okay. This is our finished product. Like I said, leave it out for two days. I'm going to go ahead and start packing my other mason jar. Thank you so much uh, for watching. This is Jen with Spirit of Health from our kitchen to yours. God bless.